Hello. It's been a while. Hopefully my internet uh, actually holds up because I've been having some problems, but um, we'll see how it goes. Um, we're going to do a new game. Essentially being... Uh, so I've watched a little bit of this game from one of the other streamers, uh, from Video Games is Awesome, uh, and that's actually what got me to buy the game. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, hold on. It's fixing stuff. Oh, there we go. Uh, it's pretty cool. I haven't really played one of these kind of games in, like, a long time. Maybe since, uh... I think when I was trying to kind of trying out some stuff and I was like trying out the dial a long time ago. So Hey. Rise and shine, son. You better get up. I'm almost off duty. Your mom's gonna be here soon and you know how she is. Oops. Here she comes. Have a great day, Shane. There's my little angel. Mm. Computer. Snooze. No more snoozies for my little spaceman this morning. Oh, I hope no bad tinkle fairies came and wet your bed during the night. Thanks, Mom. Mm. Computer tinkle fairies. off. Come on and get up, Shay. Lots of important adventures to go on today. Get up now, Mr. Man, or I'll turn on the mean sound. Okay, fine. So well, uh, the, way the, or the way the games like this play is you, know, you use the cursor, interact with your okay. items, and then you kind of figure out how to work puzzles based on what items you have and the interactions you have with the environment. Hey, easy, computer. Um, oh, quit being so shy. So yeah, environment's very big, uh, and you have to kind of be creative about what things in the environment can actually be interactable, or <sighs> what is just, you know, not... Choco Rockets. And so it's pretty. Uh, it's gonna have a lot of dialogue that you can kind of mess around with. So, like, I'm gonna say yikes. Yikes. Nice. No way. Simmons. Uh I went through the beginning of this to kind of just mess with it and see how it plays. Um, also, just make sure, like, gameplay was working fine. So, I, I, I think I'd rather. I've actually gone through, like, all the serials and they just kind of force feed you, like, one at the end. So, uh, no thanks, computer. I guess we'll kind of find one that I have. Oh, I'm not gonna have lumps. Yuck! You know I hate that. Soylent dreams. That also does not sound no, appetizing. Not in that kind of mood today. Crispy bunches of space. Check. Commence sustenance distribution. So, like right yes. now, it's interactive. You won't be sorry, Commander. Boom. Stay on alert. I think there might be food around. Always, sir. So yeah, clicking on an item will have it do the interaction or like kind of like flavor text kind of stuff. Uh, holding it is gonna Once make you pick it up, and breach. then you would use it on whatever you want to interact with. So like, we'll use it on the cereal. It's happening. It's really happening. Now, sir, I don't just serve food. I also serve up nutrition facts and eating encouragement. For instance, that last spoonful was exactly 7.1 calories. Did you... Uh-oh. Uh, Commander? Aren't you excited to see what the big deal is? Up on the bridge? No? Well then, want to know the viscosity of this morning's synthetic milk? <laughs> okay, computer. What's the big emergency? I wish you'd call me Mom, sweetie. I wish you called me Captain, computer. Okay, Captain, sweetie. Let's get down to business. We are currently tracking multiple developing crises that need urgent attention. First of all, a massive avalanche has been reported on the planet Galactica. Second, there's a runaway train in System 7 that's headed for Spike Canyon. We've also received a Mayday signal from the vessel Friendship Circle. They're under attack. And, uh-oh, this just came in. 
My sensors are reporting an entity of unknown origin has attached itself to the hull of this very ship. What are your orders, sweet Ab? Captain? Um... Hmm... So, let's help, I guess, the avalanche victims just... Try that out. We need to help those avalanche victims. I knew you'd want to help them, sweetie. Flying a course for Planet Galactica. It's a little weird how you know, everything's kind of kid based. Like baby based, rather. This is the massive avalanche? It's worse than it looks! Really? How? That's not worse. Don't worry. I'll figure out how to get you out of there soon. We know you will. We believe in you, Shay. Pretty cool. So it's ice cream. I'm going to assume I use the spoon. I can't wait to be in your mouth again. Wow, that's some awkward phrasing. Nutrition paste for you today. Ew. Tater top flavor. <sighs> Ready for your next exciting space mission, honey? We've got an avalanche, a runaway train, a spaceship under attack, and a mysterious object on the hull. Better suit up and investigate that foreign body. Ooh, I don't like you going out there. Let's use the safety suit. Ah, oh, come on. A scarf. The scarf's kind of odd. Okay, I'm outside the ship. The foreign body must be very close by. It sort of doesn't even look very secure. I found the object. It appears to be something organic in nature. Something's telling me I should stick my face right into it. Ah! Get off of me! <laughs> Get off! Wait, what? You're going to love this dinner pill. Tuna casserole. Sorry, I burned it Ew. a little. What mission should we go on next, sweetie? Uh, I guess the train. Let's catch that runaway train! Aye, aye, Captain Sweetie. To System 7. I should open that here. I'm losing my grip! 
Well, we're stuck in the snow. Better eat the other passengers. It's a little early for that. <laughs> <laughs> the bridge man hurts. I don't know how long I can hold on to this. It's only you can let go now. I got this. Listen. You can let go now. I got this. Okay, so I just like. Go until that I think I should open it first. Why don't you open it? Stay on alert. I think there might be food around. Always, sir. I can't hang on for much longer. I think I should open it. You can let go now. I got this. Wake up, bridge man! Oh, so you just clicked Finally! Them. My arms were about to pop off! I guess I could have just tried that. It's also disgusting. Thank you, Brady! That also has to be really painful for the guy. Thank you, so That's actually kind of rude. Absolutely not. I, was, I figured that you can use the whistle, but I guess not. Thanks for keeping it safe. Time for the hero to close his little hero eyes. Yeah, that looks like a good idea. See you tonight, son. So much to do today. Come on, sweetie. Chocolate rocket? Sure. What difference does it make? Your saliva has a 0 0.001 pH imbalance today. May I suggest more whole grain nutrient paste? What mission should we go on next, sweetie? Uh, I guess? We have to defend the friendship circle. Oh, I just don't know who would attack those poor defenseless cuties. To the teleporter room. I'm aboard the distressed vessel, Friendship Circle. I found one of the crew. What happened here? There was an attack! From an enemy vessel? Or an alien creature? Or did you attack yourselves in a fit of space madness? <laughs> yes. Got a special nutrition paste for you today. Egg salad sandwich. <sighs> what mission should we go on next, sweetie? Uh, I gotta get out of this routine. Uh... Fattening avalanche, I guess. Well, good. You're so skinny. Plotting the course for Planet Galactica. I can't imagine how I'd be so skinny You're if I'm. You're not gonna believe this, but eating there ice was cream another every ice day. cream avalanche. Yay! Weird. Come on, puppy, puppy, puppy. Oh look, it's another Grab and Gary robot. Can't wait to put it in the trash. I mean, my collection. Remember, chew your food 32 times. Yay! So much ice cream. You're going to love this dinner pill. Either spaghetti or aspirin. What? 
What mission should we go on next, sweetie? Here we go again. Did this button scare me out? Uh, uh. I guess because it's X, I don't really have a choice. Uh, back to the cuddle dungeon. Why not? You know, if you cuddle dungeon hard, also sounds pretty wrong. Gross. Cause it, I'm figuring I'm about you know, fifteen ish. I'm pretty sure if someone told a fifteen year old that they're taking them to the cuddle dungeon, they might go to jail. Fake controls. What a surprise. More fake controls. Fake. Fake controls. What a surprise. I wouldn't sit in those beanbag chairs. I'm afraid they'd cuddle me. Hey, they're not hey wake up. They have <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get this over with. Looks like someone can't wait for their <laughs> No, I just. So sleepy. Tomorrow's another day, buddy. See you tonight, son. Good morning, Shay. Chuckle Rockets. Yikes. No way. Simmons. <sighs> Why not? Slow down. Choking is not delicious. <laughs> what mission should we go on next, sweetie? I'd rather jump off a cliff than do this again. Uh. Fake train wreck, please. I knew you'd choo -choo choose that one. <laughs> the system seven. We're gonna crash into Spike Kids! Wake up, bridge man! We're safe! No, we're the bridge! Bet if I took a dive on one of these missions, that would change things. I guess spacewalk. I could use a spacewalk, I guess. Okay, watch out for that foreign body on the hull. Yeah, right. <laughs> Giving back presents is rude. I don't think eating it should be my first. Open up. But this time, take it easy. You're going to love this dinner pill. Gravity loaf. Gravit? <sighs> what mission should we go on next, sweetie? On the bright side, every new day means a new chance to die on a runaway train. Fake train wreck, please. I knew you choo choo choose that one. To system seven. Yeah, it is a bit weird. We're gonna crash! Wake up, bridge man! We're saved! <laughs> Lower the bridge! What an amazing idea! Brilliant and resourceful! Don't forget the present! Without being, you know, all braggy about it. Thank you, Ray Hero. We should celebrate. Let's 
absolutely not. It's very much like Monkey Island. Time for the hero to close his little hero eyes. Same space, different day. Am I right? Rise and shine. Ugh. Come on, Buster. No time to waste. Chocolate rockets? No. Yikes. No way. No. I think I'd rather eat a bug. Honey holograms. Or... Sounds good, computer. Remember, chew your food 32 times. What mission should we go on next, sweetie? I'd rather jump off a cliff than do this again. Oh my god. So maybe that's something I can do during the train wreck. Fake train wreck, please. I knew you'd choo choo choose that one to System 7. What's that, son? Did you say, wake up the bridge man? That's Carrier's program is not the Master. It's one of the primary rules of robotics. Hey, I got a grabbing Gary, if you guys need help grabbing him. I'm already grabbing it! You just wake up the bridge man! <laughs> I'm going to have to let go in a second! Gary can't reach that. But if I just yell at the bridge man, I think he will lower or raise the bridge. Wake up, bridge man! Okay, now don't touch it! Back to sleep, bridge man. Son, what are you doing? Oh! Shay! What were you thinking? You could have saved us so easily! I'm sure you had to be then! <laughs> Woohoo! Oh god. Uh, the. Oh. Even the spikes are fake. Having fun? Huh? Who are you? When you tire of child's play, when you're ready for real danger, come see me. But... Tell no one. Do you understand? Okay. But... No one. Hey! <laughs> wait! What? No discussion about it, young man. You need to rest and heal up in bed until further notice. Computer, I'm fine. Obviously. No, you might have a delayed fracture. That can happen. No, it can't. All missions are cancelled. I love you. <sighs> Yeah, you know, could be all wolves that come out of nowhere in the darkness, giving me keys. That's legit. Weird. No missions. I can do... whatever? Can't sleep. On a mission. Health stats 100% normal, as always. Maybe I'm the robot. Missions cancelled until further notice. <laughs> Whoops. It's a tank of compressed air. Could be useful in an emergency. Yeah, right. Like we have those. She says it's a humidifier, but I think it's some sort of mind control device. Either way, it's dead now. I took away its food source. Oh, I see the air was the source. Hmm. hmm. The air vent is screwed shut. 
with these weird little screws. It works! Hmm. All of a sudden, what's this? It looks like an inflatable raft. It looks like an inflatable raft. Hey, what are you doing out of bed, Buster? Ugh. <laughs> All right, so if I have to... It's a tank of compressed air. Could be useful in an emergency. Yeah, right. Maybe this air tank has enough pressure to blow up this raft. Whoa. It looks like a blow-up doll of me. Creepy. Hopefully, it this looks exactly enough like me to fool the warden. Lost you today. Sleep tight, little hero. <laughs> Man, computers are stupid. <laughs> Whoa. How have I never seen this part of the ship before? You came because you are done with children's games. Yes. Who are you? My name is Marek, and what I'm about to show you is no game. While you've been drifting through the universe, eating ice cream, playing with trains, war has been raging across the galaxy. How convenient. War. Between who? Between the forces that every war is between. Between the powerful and the weak, the tyrants and the innocent. But who? Does it even matter? There will always be war. We did not start it, and we cannot stop it. What we can do is protect the weak and rescue the helpless. Look at this distress signal I just received from a peaceful colony in the Talon Nebula. The helpless creatures you see have been imprisoned by forces of tyranny and may soon be executed. But... Yes? We... We have to save them. Yes. Yes, we do. I'm pleased you feel as such. We have to go tell the ship's computer. No. You must tell no one on this ship what I have just told you. This ship is programmed with one function. To keep you safe. Yeah, I noticed that. To help these creatures, you will need to put yourself at risk. In a way, she could never understand. No, you're right. She would never understand. So what can we do? First, we have to get to the Talon Nebula. So convenient that I'm just gonna trust to the them. navigation room. I have an earpiece for you to wear, so we can stay in contact. Use that vent to avoid detection. Return immediately after you're successful. But quickly, young cub, we don't have much time. has come to play with the Space Weaver. Where shall we go today, wise commander? Oh man, a real mission for once. This is so fun. This is serious, Shay. Stay focused. You can hear everything I say? Yes. Please don't say anything embarrassing. Hey, Space Weaver. Let's go somewhere exciting for a change. I have been programmed to take the young master wherever it's been, as long as it is safe. And free of conflict. Ah. Bring me a star chart. 
and the fabric of time and space shall be knit to serve your passage. That's pretty cool. Wow. Oh, go back. Hey, Space Weaver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Hey, Space Weaver. Can you take me here? We shall be there in no time. Preparing decryption mechanism. Initializing warp and wolf drive. Intake calipers in position. Weave thrusters at viscosity. Spindle at rotational velocity. Deploying nav scarf in five. Four. Three. Two. One. By the odds, we have arrived. It does look like a talon. We should be in the Talon Nebula now. Great work, young cub. We're approaching the location of the distress signal now. <gasps> this is worse than I thought. The good news is their captors have left them unguarded for the time being. Mm. What can I do? Here, take these controls. You need to lower the shields so the boom arms can be extended. Go on, lower the shields. Good. I got it! Great work, Shay. Now the boom arms will haul it in and place it in the auxiliary cargo hold. I should go see if it's okay. No. They must remain in complete quarantine for their own protection. And ours. You mean our diseases might kill them? You are wise for such a young cub. Now we must save more quickly. Yeah, I got one from uh, the odd one. Use the movement controls I haven't to used position it yet, though. the ship. Position the ship so the cargo booms can grab one of the creatures. Careful. Wait for it. <coughs> Got another one. Great. Now just place it in the cargo hold and... Oh no. What is it? Hostile forces have been detected nearby. They're coming in our direction. We need to retreat. Not yet. There's still one more to save. No time. We have to uh, out immediately or we'll be destroyed. One? They also gave away. No! I have to check my messages. You didn't tell me I'd have to pick who lived and died. You want to be a grown up? Get used to making tough decisions. No time to mourn. There's another distress signal. This one's from Danger System 5. Are Danger you Danger System 5. Shay, are you the master of your feelings or are they the master of you? Give me the star chart. You know, when you're really desperate for adventure, you're kind of just willing to go with anything, as I'm noticing through this. Hey, Space Weaver, can you take me here? We shall be there in no time. Preparing decryption mechanism. Initializing warp and wolf drive. Intake calipers in position. Weave thrusters at viscosity. Spindle at rotational velocity. Deploying nav scarf in five. Four. Three. Two. One. No need to applaud. Just doing my job. Oh. 
Okay, we should be in Danger System 5. Are we ever? Take a look at this. Careful. Excellent. Securing subject and cargo hold. Wait for it. It's missing part of its head. Great work. When it comes to choosing a creature, you must trust your... Good. But hurry, we're running out of time. Don't wait for it. Okay, that's enough. What do you mean, that's enough? I mean, enemy ships are approaching. I don't see anything. I need to save this last one. You're going to endanger the whole mission to save one creature? Just give me a second. Yeah, that's right, you take control. This is a waste of time. There is no need for this. Okay, I got it. Oh. Something's wrong. Cut it loose. We need to retreat before... Attention. Ship is under attack. What happened? Probably one of the enemy vessels I warned you about, remember? We need to get that last creature. Too late. The ship is retreating under autopilot to a safe location. And we're completely locked out of the controls. Yeah. How are we going to perform any more rescues? We'll have to find another way to hack into the boom arm controls. And another way to bring the shields down at the right time. And who knows if we'll be able to navigate to the right system now that the ship's on high alert. The ship's computer must be freaking out right now. Oh, yes. <laughs> as soon as the alarm sounded, the first thing she probably did was check on you and your... <laughs> Shay! Shay! Are you hurt? Oh, thank goodness. <clears throat> Don't worry, sweetie. Um, something attacked the ship, but Mommy's taking care of it. Nothing doing? to worry about, okay? Better get back to Merrick to hear his plan. Any luck with the ship's controls? No, but we intercepted a new distress signal, this time from Prima Doom. How are we going to get control of the ship's cargo boom arms? We'll need to attempt a manual override. The manual boom arm controls are located here. You can get to them through the ship's airlock here. I've hacked the airlock door so you can now open it without alerting the Overmother. How are we going to take down the shields? I have a plan. The shields require so much power, they have a dedicated source. This fusion orb. Take this Omicron inhibitor and place it over the fusion orb. And when the time is right, we'll turn it on and turn off the fusion orb. Along with the ship's shields. Got it. The distress call was from Prima Doom? <clears throat> How do we get there? Same as always. Take this star chart to the Space Weaver, and hope for the best. So, how long have you been living in here? I am a recent stowaway. I oh, came because I sensed you were ready. Are you really a wolf? No, I wear this disguise to blend in with your other stuffed animal friends. Weird. So, that's a wolf suit? What are you... underneath? I am what I do. A rescuer of creatures in need. 
I'm just like you. Why do I have to be the one to choose who to rescue? A boy your age just has good instincts for the job. Uh -huh. I'd better get back to the mission. Yes, our window of opportunity won't last forever. We need to go here right away. Prima Doom! Negative. That system is forbidden due to likelihood of hostile activity. But it's an emergency. Sometimes safety is the most exciting adventure of all. What? Might I suggest somewhere safer? Like Puppy Planetoid, Cozy Cluster, or maybe somewhere in the Smile system? Smile system? Ugh. Oh god, it's my Son, life. I'm not sure it's safe enough for you to leave your room. I'm tired of being a prisoner in my room. I'm sick of being a prisoner on this ship. I know, son. I know it's hard. You've given up so much. Listen, I'd like to tell you a story. A story of another person your age. A young girl. She wanted to live a normal life, but she was chosen. She was honored with a special duty. Some people would call it a sacrifice. But what she didn't realize at the time was that it was a great honor. Please, I've heard the story of the Sacrifice Girl a million times. I know the ending. The Sacrifice Girl is you, right? What I'm trying to tell you is that I made a hard choice, but I regret nothing because... Great story, computer. I'm sorry they programmed you with someone's sad memories, but I have to go. You know the truth deep down, son. And I know you'll appreciate my words someday. Uh-huh. Brother. That's the other girl. Uh... Oh, that's the bridge. Um... Uh, oh, Emergency rations? I think that's overreacting. I don't want to sit down to eat. Can't believe she'd leave something this dangerous lying around. What's that? Nothing. You don't talk too, do you? Not unless I have something to say. <laughs> Please ignore him, sir. Bad attitude. These are just props. She would never let me do my own cooking. Too dangerous. Uh. Hey. Why won't this open? Oh, honey, you can't come in here. I'm working on a surprise for you. What is it? Nice try.
Teleporter, activate. To the starboard passageway, sir. Oh. The other doors are fresh out of one places. Oh, I guess going through the door would send me places as well, but before I start teleporting away. It's a whipped cream gum, and it's mine. Warning, contains artificial sweeteners suspended in a powerful propellant. Do not discharge into eyes. Everywhere. Missions are cancelled. You can drop the act. It's not an act! I think I pulled a muscle in that last attack you gave me! My back is killing me! Hey, I didn't attack you. You guys attacked me. Hey, maybe I can fix your back. Really? Yeah, I think I see what's wrong. Hold still. Oh, yes! That feels amazing! You're welcome. Well, I gotta go. See ya! What did I pick up? Hmm. I wonder if I could knit with this. Actually, it's a crochet hook, so you could probably crochet with it. Wow. You know a lot about yarn crafts. Wolf costumes don't make themselves. into something once when you're two years old and they lock it forever. Oh no, don't even think it. What? You are banned from this rail for life, young man. <laughs> life, your passengers are still in grief counseling. Please leave before they see you. Teleporter, activate. May I teleport you to the Nexus? There is no time! Hey, my... my head! What's wrong? My head is... smaller. Oh, uh, yeah, you just used a teleporter. Why did my head shrink? Quantum physics, duh. Don't worry, it'll all go back to normal when you take the trip back through me, big baby. Teleporter, activate. Yes, sir. To the Hall of Heroes? You mean the junk room? Yeah. Not responsible for lost items, motion sickness, or mutations. Okay, now my head is just getting ridiculous. Oh boy, you went through two teleporters with our return trip, didn't you? You're playing with fire, kid! 
I gave up making art years ago. If no one's around to see it, who cares? I'll never want to see another train as long as I live. I wonder what's in those creepy jars. My old teeth? Hair? I made a hexipal out of a paper plate. Probably thought they were alive then. She bronzed my first space shoes. Or is that the remains of my old bomb squad bot? I think that's the ratty old washcloth I used to drag around the spaceship. I really hope she washed that thing. How did I manage to win second place that time? <laughs> as soon as we get full control of this ship, I'm going to burn this stuff. I wish she'd get rid of these. My paper mache is so much better than that now. Hey, the helmet comes off. Ah, my first hazard suit. Kept out Omicron radiation and kept in diaper leaks. That should be for acting. Acting like I cared about the stupid missions on this ship. Judging by the wolf hair, this must be where Merrick sleeps. The helpless creatures we rescued are being quarantined in there. Wish I could let them out. But it's for their own safety, I guess. Get my head back to normal, I guess. Teleporter, activate. May I teleport you to the Nexus? Hang on! See you. Oh, Teleporter, concerned. activate. This way to the fusion orb containment facility. Ooh. Hang on! See you. Caution. Entering an area of strong Omicron radiation levels. Full radiation shielding necessary to proceed. Lay it on me. Helmet. That's just great. I'm not getting any closer to that fusion orb without my radiation helmet. Boiling my brain is not the kind of danger I'm looking for. My head is almost small enough to fit in this helmet. Junk room? Yeah. Here we go! Welcome to the Hall of Heroes. She's gonna freak out when she sees my head. Oh, what's 
so good. That was far so good. Teleporter, activate. This way to the fusion orb containment facility. Here we go! I think oh that's God. all my head can take. You need to make a return trip through me right away, Shay. In a minute. Ah, my head's small. Caution. Entering an area of strong Omicron radiation levels. Full radiation shielding necessary to proceed. I think this machine is just never going to give me a helmet. What a rip. A little snug, but I think it will work. I'm not sure how long I can stand the spoiled milk smell, though. Ew. Gotta keep this thing on ice so it doesn't cause a meltdown, I guess. Easy does it. There. Fusion oil. Inhibited. Not quite. We won't activate the Omicron inhibitor until we're ready to take the shields down. And when will we be ready? Just as soon as you get control of those boom arms and navigate this ship to Prima Doom. Check. What happens when they get back? I don't think I'm going to risk that. <laughs> hey! My head is the perfect size for this helmet now. Can I have taken it off? How tiny was I when I used to wear this radiation helmet? Okay. Teleporter, activate. May I teleport you to the Nexus? Uh, we're going to save. I don't really know if it's going to... Destroy the subtitles. Not responsible for lost items, motion sickness, or mutations. Probably gonna destroy the. Ow! 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 Oh! Head normalization expedited. You're welcome. I hate quantum physics. Oh no! It turns out that whole head tricking thing was just faulty wiring. One more trip and that head would pop right off. <laughs> so again, you're welcome. Teleporter, activate. To the starboard passageway, sir. There ain't no time. Open up. But this time, take it easy. Let's see if this fits. Come on. That's the stuff. It's sealed shut. I think she had it bronzed. I couldn't even wear it as a glove if I wanted to. Woo! Ah. Man, he is just dying to grab something. I don't think that's going to help me on this. Here we go! Man! 
That's why I assume I'm missing something. Here we go! Oh. Oh, because of the thing. Gotcha. Space! How is he controlling that? I'm free in space. Okay. Now what? Oh, 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 oh. Control. Control yourself. Maybe if I could get this hatch open, no good. Stupid fat hands. Fat hands, you say? I can tell Gary wants to get in there, but his grabbing claws are too thick to pry open that hatch. Uh, this tiny suit wouldn't be much use there. Or anywhere. Let me try to... Oh, hey! Uh oh No, not, not the face! Or the neck! Or the body! I'm free! Free to cleave the infinite void <laughs> of space itself! Phew! That's a relief for a lot of reasons. I think... I think Gary wants to grab that. Okay, grabbing Gary. It's hero time. Don't be scared. Well, go ahead. Grab the controls. Oh, yeah, I have the button. Engage! Good boy! Oh, hey, 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 hey! That's enough, Gary. We don't want to attract attention just yet. You sit tight here, and I'll push the button again when it's go time, okay? Gary, you were the best present ever. I imagine those I wonder how Mother is not noticing that I'm doing all these adventures. No way. I have to go to Prima Doom right now. Lives depend on it. I'm sorry, young master, but my programming won't allow it. Mm. Forget it. If we can't go to Prima Doom, I don't want to go anywhere. Please don't be angry, young sir. If I could override this directive, I most certainly would. If I give the Space Weaver a star chart, he'll weave the destination pattern into this nav scarf. Facial expression. Um. This is the star chart for Prima Doom. All right, let's try Puppy Planetoid. 
preparing decryption mechanism. Initializing warp and wolf drive. This is the star chart for Prima Dune. Intake Duke. calipers in position. Weave thrusters at viscosity. Spin this is the star chart for Prima Dune. Deploying nav scarf in five. Four. This is the star chart for Three, Prima Dune. Two. One. Please enjoy your stay and be safe. If I give the space weaver a star chart, he'll weave the destination pattern into this nav scarf. I have to figure this out next time. Go to sleep. Like you're sleeping. All right. Uh, I will probably stream more of this Saturday night. Maybe Saturday night. Maybe next Tuesday. I have to figure that out. Um. So, I will catch you guys later. Good night.